Hello everyone. Welcome. Today, we're going to learn how to open IMG files on Windows 10. IMG files are disk image files. They contain all the information stored on a disk. This can include CDs, DVDs, or even hard drives. Sometimes, you need to access the contents of these files. So, let's dive into how you can do that. There are several ways to open IMG files. One common method is to use built-in Windows tools. Windows 10 has a built-in feature to mount IMG files. This allows you to access the files as if they were on a physical drive. First, locate the IMG file you want to open. Right-click on the file. Select Mount from the context menu. A new drive letter will appear in File Explorer. This represents the mounted IMG file. You can now browse the contents of the IMG file like any other drive. To unmount the IMG file, right-click on the drive letter in File Explorer. Then, select Eject. This will safely remove the virtual drive. Another way to open IMG files is using third-party software. Several free and paid programs can handle IMG files. One popular free option is 7-Zip. 7-Zip is a file archiver that supports many formats, including IMG. Download and install 7-Zip from its official website. Once installed, right-click on the IMG file. Select 7-Zip from the context menu. Then, choose Open Archive. 7-Zip will display the contents of the IMG file. You can then extract the files you need to a folder on your computer. Another software option is WinCDEMU. WinCDEMU is a free and open-source CD, DVD slash BD emulator. It allows you to mount IMG files with a single click. Download and install WinCDEMU. Right-click on the IMG file. Select Mount from the context menu. A virtual drive will appear in File Explorer. You can then access the contents of the IMG file. To unmount, right-click on the virtual drive. Select Eject. These are the most common and easiest ways to open IMG files in Windows 10. Choose the method that works best for you. Remember to always download software from trusted sources to avoid malware. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please consider giving this video a like. Leave a comment if you have any questions. Also, subscribe to the channel for more helpful tips and tricks. Your support helps me create more content like this. See you in the next video.